Hello everybody, I'm Chris Mario Master, and whoa! Welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. In the last part, we were in Bowser's Kingdom doing stuff, and we're still doing stuff. Can you believe that? I am in a cheerful mood today. Uh, it is a new day. Uh, I'm probably going to be only able to squeeze like one or two episodes in today, so let's make the most of them. Here we go. We got uh, a whole bunch of stuff to do in Bowser's Kingdom, a whole bunch of moons to get, a whole bunch of things to kill, a whole bunch of things to capture, a whole bunch of moon pieces to grab, and a whole bunch of purple coins, as seeing as how we only have 22. So, we have a lot on our to-do list, and hopefully we'll be able to get as much as we possibly can done in the next uh, half hour, or however long these episodes are. Usually they're around half an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and kick it off by grabbing a few, uh, okay, by grabbing a few bird-related moons. So we're gonna unlock that, and if we push it over there, we can grab a moon piece and stick our nose where it doesn't belong to get a another cherry-flavored moon. Yummy. Poking the turret wall. Cherry is actually my favorite flavor, like information, so... You know, if uh, anybody wants to send me some cherry flavored gummy bears or something stupid like that, that's the flavor to choose. Somebody once gave me an entire jar of cherry flavored Starburst, and it was amazing. That was when I was younger, though. Um, I probably wouldn't have eaten them all at the same time I did back then. <laughs> but yes, cherry is very delicious, too. Uh, uh, it's also a nice scent, too. Are there coins down there? Whatever. We need to hop up here and stick our nose in this. All right, and we need to stick our nose up in that hole over there in order to get ourselves a few coins. That uh, I suck at doing. I hate the birds so much. Yeah, we can get coins. This, look at that. Can you, isn't that amazing? Not like we really need coins. Well, I mean, yeah, we, we we do need coins. It's ultimately yes, we need coins. <laughs> so let's grab those and then let's hop down here and see what's going on. Oh. <laughs> I think I just did a skip. <laughs> Treasure inside the turret. I, I think I legit just did a skip of some kind. There's some purple coins. Uh... Ha! I got the purple coins! Joke's on you! We only have 5,000 coins. 5,000 pure golden coins. Whatever will we do? I want to know the actual. Well, I mean, I, I I think that's actually been done on the internet before, but I want to know the actual conversion rate of like Mario coins to like USD or something. And if they are at like, what are Mario coins made out of? Are they actually gold coins? Like serious? Like legitimately, 100% gold coins? Because if so, who the hell leaves these around? And why? And also, why is the economy in the Mushroom Kingdom so freaking good? In order for them to just leave gold coins hanging around, like oh yeah, we got gold coins. But without further ado, we have five moon pieces and uh, a cherry flavored moon is prepared for us, I guess. Uh, which is apparently a story based moon, uh, as foretold by the big beacon of light that shines from it. But we have to get a few more purple coins. Uh, really don't want to miss them. They're, they're pretty hard to miss. They're, I mean, pretty easy to miss. <laughs> so really trying to get them. And. Uh, we also gave Mario his classical uh, standard outfit in the last episode because, you know, we've literally never been through the wardrobe once, so I figured, you know, might as well go back to the basics for Bowser's Kingdom, even though we're probably going to get a costume in this episode, uh, and if not, definitely next episode. I, I, if you haven't noticed, I, I tend to try to change Mario's outfit at least once an episode, uh, or have a new outfit every episode, but sometimes, you know, you can't, sometimes you can't have that, but it's nice because... Mixes things up. Dang it! I have to do all of that again now. I'm trying to get Mario around here with his bird pal. This is why I hate the bird, because it controls so bad. Okay. Hop around here and hopefully not die. We can grab some purpley coinage. Because, you know, this is a perfect place to put money. And go back up. Whoa! Okay, I think we can grab that moon now. Give it a good old snag. Um, actually, wait, hang on. I wanna. There was a pipe down here, and I don't know what it's to. So I just want to check and make sure it's not that anything important. 
Cool. Let's get that cherry flavored moon. You got a moon! Smart bomb. That sounds like a... Not a very good thing to say. Sounds like a terrible... Sounds like a slogan that would be taken in a very wrong way. Smart bombing. We bomb smart. Big brutal battle. Ah, uh, yes. The, uh... Semi-boss rush of two bosses, I guess. Whatever. Onward, we will go! You and me! Uh, Mario and Cappy, brothers and brothers and hats. <laughs> uh, there are some purple coins up top here, though. And by purple coins, I mean a freaking moon just sitting here. From the side above this castle gate. Because they just want you to keep going and not even pay attention. But I, I know better than to just keep on going in a Mario level like this. You gotta explore every nook and cranny before you can keep going. Uh, but I think that's, uh... The gist of what they want to collect. So we can go into that electricity and zip zap zoobity bop our way over to the next island. Which happens to be a crazy cap store. And a checkpoint. And these statues. And uh, this guy who's wearing a samurai hat. And up here with purple coins. And now we have 42 so we can buy the costume or whatever. Alright. <laughs> Let's see, there is a, there's supposed to be a statue somewhere. We gotta find him. Where is the statue? Oh, can we take one of these? Yes, we can. Look, it's Tanuki Mario. He's saying, halt, do not pass. But we all set. Just, you know, bring that guy over there. We get a free moon. Grab the moon. But if you look down there, Jizzo all in a row. Jizzo? I'm, oh, I'm thinking of, like, Jingos from Banjo Kazooie. Are they called Jingos? Jango? Something like that. Uh, but if you look over here, as they're saying, uh, there's a rock on the floor. It's all cracked. Bring the statue over here and skadoosh your way down here to get yet another moon for the exact same method. There we go. There's two moons for the price of two moons. I like that. Underground Jizzo. And then uh, we can hop, hop back up, smack our way into the pipe. <laughs> And we can enter that good old Crazy Cap store and see what's going on Crazy Cap. See if we can buy anything good from Mario this time around. These are humans for some reason. Do you want it? We're going to buy ourselves a nicey spicy samurai helmet. And also a nicey spicy samurai armor. And we'll see what it looks like on good old Mario. Wow! Look at that! He is ready to kill some giant lizards and people with swords. I, I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, now that we're a samurai, we can talk to our samurai friend. You want to get a look-see to, to what's going on inside? You gotta be dressed for a battle, friend. That armor, you look like a samurai. Well, step right in. Right this way. And we can enter the samurai room, which looks pretty cool, and enter... A very intricately planned 8-bit section that is completely plastered on one of these mural thingies. Not sure what the exact name is. But, uh, yeah, and if, every time you go to the right in a pipe, it folds over into a new area, which is pretty cool. So it's like a legit Mario level almost. And I died. Great. Let's -a try again. Let's just hop back in and try again. Pretend sure that didn't happen. You don't see it. No, 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 sirree. Just try to grab some coins over here, okay? Let's so come down, though. Grab some coinage. Always good to grab some coinage. And keep making our way right. And we can encounter some good stuff. We can actually live through it. So let's see. We got some platforms. Get some more coinage. Hop down here. Wait for the platform. And let's get out with it. And if we look, there is a music note, which is always good news. Uh, but we're not going to hit that turtle just yet because we can use him. So we just got to get the music note. Grab these three, and these three, and these three, and these three. Whoa, look out. We can actually hit our turtle friend and get ourselves an 8 bit moon. Taking notes in the folding screen. And if we keep heading right. We can grab the main moon, which is behind some bricks. And all we gotta do is smack this Koopa into those bricks. And it is ours. Uh, open it. Okay. There we 
go. And we got the scene of crossing the poison swamp. Oh god. Into the into the black with you. Into the black. It's not even worthy of the title poison, it's just black. This is a pretty cool area. But uh that's it for here. That's a nice tubid area to explore. But I believe it is time that we move on to I believe the next island is the brutal battle. I'm not 100 percent Yes sirree! But of course, there are a few small trinkets and thingies we can grab before Cappy <laughs> gets stuck on one of the Bowser heads. There are some purple coins here, and there's actually a uh, empty photo frame here. So something will be unveiled later. And if we come over here, there. I like how the oh god. <laughs> I like how the hat has like a little dink sound to it, like just to show that it's hard, like a uh, Mario construction hat and stuff. Go over here, there is a Jizo we can capture, and I don't exactly remember where we have to bring him, but I know there's a place you gotta bring him to get a moon or something like that. Uh, there are little sparkly things in the ground, we can take him, and I think we shake the out, take the controller, you can go even faster. So we bring him along this course, and kill everything. <laughs> And keep on bouncing, shaking the controller, trying to move faster. I don't know what I'm looking for anymore. Is it a life up heart? I think it's a life up heart. There it is. It's always good to have for a brutal battle. Especially two of them back to back. Uh, I guess there isn't a moon. Whatever. Screw it, let's bring the Jizzle to the boss battle. <laughs> I wonder if you could actually fight them in this form. That'd be hilarious. Probably not. So we just go up these stairs, and we head over here. Oh wait, no, uh... Oh, right, yeah, okay. Uh, I know what we gotta do. I think. Do I have to, like, break the boxes with this guy? I guess not. There's just health. Great. Fantastic. Anyway, we go in here, and then we start a boss. <laughs> that was the, that was the, that was the whole point. There's only two left, because I guess the other two died or something, I don't know. Yep, the wedding's almost here. The boss is getting ready in the keep up ahead. But you two can scram, because you're definitely not invited! And Little Miss Easy to Kill is ready to fight. Little Miss, I'll hit my bomb back at your face, and this fight is over. I already messed it up, though, so goddamn. Let's try that again. Ow. I. Why? Why? I need more open space. Here we go. This is good. Throw the bombers. There we go. Hit her in the face. Give her a good old smack on the head. And now she's gonna go into UFO mode. And all we gotta do is uh, smack her bomb back at her. Sucking really hard right now. We gotta, there he is. Jeez Louise. That was terrible. Sorry, I'm doing really terribly right now. Let's try not to die, huh? There we go. Dive. Got her. One more. I hope that heart isn't going to despawn anytime soon. Gotcha! Right. One more round of bombs, and we are home free. We'll get up in her face. She'll get all nervous. There it is. And give her a good old dive under the head, and she is a goner. <laughs> I could use some lucky rabbits for you. And kaboom goes Bowser's statue. And and ba-ding goes Mario's health or whatever. Alright, let's go over to the next boss. We're taking our Jizzo because he's our lucky Jizzo or something. I don't know. I, I don't know why. I just feel like I'm forgetting that there's a move you can get with this guy. I don't, I don't know why. I feel like there is a move. We can grab a heart uh, and not bring our Jizzo up here. And we can fight a slightly more difficult but also very easy boss. <laughs> the boss was again when he said you two were persistent. Proud to the family to all the brutals to come at you with everything I got. Because they're all dead, even though they're not really dead. There's no way to tell they're really dead or not. Has anyone even died in Mario? Has anyone ever died in Mario? Well, I'm not including the Paper Mario games, because that, those, those games are darker than all the other Marios. What is happening? I'm just gonna knock all the hats out. 
Is it like a memory thing? Was I supposed to remember who's in what hat? Uh, I knocked all his hats off. Hooray. Bonk. I feel better on this guy than I am on the other one. Toss your hat a bunch of times. <laughs> How to beat this boss. Toss hat. Repeat step one. Until boss is defeated. We have four more green hats. And he's got a huge stack of hats. But all we gotta do is hold Cappy down. Ooh, he did smack me right at the end there. But still, not that difficult. We gotta give him a back, and boom, he's dead. And that clears the secondary statue, to which it will also give us a cherry flavored moon. Let's grab ourselves the. Never mind, it despawned. <laughs> Damn it. All right, well, let's grab ourselves another cherry flavored moon and keep going. You got a moon! Big brutal battle! Alrighty then, let's keep on murking our way along this giddly darn trail we're on. Doors have opened. And this is the biggest pain in the ass. Showdown at Bowser's Castle. We gotta climb that entire tower but not just climb it, I have to get all the goodies and all the moons and all the rubber coins and yada 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 off this freaking tower. We finally reached the main courtyard! Thanks, thanks, guys. So let's begin by delving into the water and collecting a moon because the end of the zone is going to be some water. That's how it is. That's just how it is. Sunken treasure in the moat. I don't think there's ever been a portion of water where there isn't a moon. Points here, we're just, uh, just under 50. And uh, he's, he's got to wait for me, but I can take one and work our way across this little water area. Uh, I don't remember if there's a moon in here. I should probably check. I don't think it's in here, I just think it's in. Uh, Alright, I just murked that entire thing, but uh, I'm gonna collect these points anyway. That was, that was like cheating. Alright, here. There's always the possibility of purple coins and yada yada yada. And you can just fall out of that, that's great. <laughs> oh wait, there is a, uh, a secret thingy. Uh, yeah, there is. If I can manage to do this. I'm gonna do it. I need a bird. Where's the bird at? Where's the bird at, bruh? Give me this bird. If you can watch yourself right here, you just skip that whole thing. Oh, that's good. Uh, go over here. Uh, I made it on the first try. Awesome. Eh. Got it. There's a moon in this little alcove here. Very easy to miss. Hidden corridor under the floor. And we go in this pipe. Come right back out over here. And keep on moving. Just kidding. There's apparently a purple coin I missed way over here. So let's grab that and die on the way. Because we're dumb and try to jump across two gigantic rooftops. Ay ay ay! This is what the happens when you don't the jump on the roof of tops of Mamma Mia, Papa Pia, and they just got the diarrhea. <laughs> oh look, it's a thing. The thing that's in everything, you know? The thing. I don't know if I could actually get up here without a bird. I think I need a bird. Alright, let's go grab a bird and bring him back. Here we go. There he is. We're gonna jump our way back because they're like the slowest freaking things on the planet. Alright, here we go. We're gonna launch him up in here and see what's going on. We got a bird, a bird, a bird, something. Forget it, I don't need him anymore. He's proven useless to me. There's purple coins up here, because this is a big old rooftop, and big old things usually have small old coins. There's some over here. Yo, I saw some over here, don't lie to me. There they are. I was like, I just sacrificed my whole life to get over here. Uh, we come all the way over here, there's some spike balls, and this thing you can climb up if you're brave enough, but I don't have a bird with me, so forget it. Just keep on going. Got the other side, because I'm sure there are purple coins over there too. Because, you know, purple coins give us purple gains. <laughs> purple coins give you purple gains, brother! Oh yeah! Okay, let's keep going. Fall. Maybe if we, I think if you go all the way over here, there's something waiting for you. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just being a big old dumbo. Uh, I guess I am. Okay. There 
is this little electric thing over here though, which you can use to na snag, your s snab, snag a freshly baked cherry moon pie that is inside of this uh, little thing that's way over here. Grab it and we got it. Bound behind bars. And we just head back out. And uh, not actually all the way back, just pop out. And we can keep going along the trail. Grab ourselves a little bird friend. These blocks have coins in them again. Which is cool. Hop up. Hop up. Uh, hop up. <laughs> and there we go. Whoa! What, what was that? Merc is what it was. Uh, if we break this block, I think we can get something. Nice. A heart. Not what I wanted. Um, I don't think we actually need to hit these anywhere. We can get them the hell out of our way. There we go. We keep marching up. Uh, you'll see there is this big old wall with a bunch of moving stuff and whatnot, and it's just a mess. So let's try to get through this as quickly as we can. There's also uh, this brick thing over here. And we actually need this guy to step all the way over here and break it. No, come over here. Break this. Yep, and now he needs to come break this so we can get ourselves a nice lemon flavor. I mean, I mean cherry flavor. Oh, jeez. Cherry flavor, good. And there it is. Thank you, kind sir. We are on course to die right into it. Nice. Inside a block in the castle. And he's just gonna chill. He's dead now. <laughs> I don't know why he gives you five points. It's like so few. Uh, go over here. I think there's a thing. Ow. I don't think I can something. Uh, I do know if you. Yeah, there he is! Captain Toad! He's here! I was walking along these rooftops for so long and got lost! But I found this power mode, so it's not all bad! Good to see you, Captain Toad! Thank you, Captain Toad. You've done me a great service. Now which way was I headed? This is probably the safest place Captain Toad's ever been. I mean, he can just walk back. It's really not that difficult. Let me see. Alright. So I think we're on course to head up the wall now. So let me just grab one of these furry guys again. And let's start heading up the wall. We gotta try to grab uh, all these purple coins that are on these wheels and whatnot, so let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can do it without falling ever. That'd be an accomplishment, huh? Grab all the spring yourself. Just keep making your way. Whoa! Keep making your way along the trail. Eh! I got it. Quick. Stab and flick. Stab and flick. Stab and flick. And stab and flick. And stab and flick. Alright, that was section one of like three. We need get a checkpoint though. Just gotta climb a bit farther. Yeah, you said it. And now is the tricky part because it goes back and forth, so if you screw anything up, uh, you could easily get your bird killed, which means that you have to do it all over again. So that's fine. But, uh, like so. Oh, Luckily, I didn't fall into poison, and I don't think there's any more purple coins up here, so I get a good hit top. Uh, there is a little uh, thing over there on, on that wall that I want to hit to. But let me just get up here so I can warp and stuff as I need to if I ever fall. Because it is a pain doing this. Oh, jeez. Get me up. Yeah! There it is. Up sea daisies. Alright. Let's hop over here. Grab this. I'm not gonna actually fight the boss yet, though. We have a lot more stuff to do. For example, come over here and hop down. There's a whole area over here with doors and whatnot. Uh, I actually remember how to do this. Uh, can I walk up up here? I think so. Yeah. Pop up here, and we get ourselves some purple coins. Always cool. That brings us to 70 now. And, uh, keep going. Down here. This is that ledge I was talking about. Uh, I wish I was going to go here. There is a big old seed we can bring all... Oops. Uh, oh. We can bring it all the way across this rooftop to snag or actually let me right there for a second. Alright, we can toss okay. We can toss this gimme, gosh, toss the seed in here. Toss this 
toss the seed in the hole and take the vine and fly up in the sky. Da da da. And uh, just do a infinite handstand all the way to the top. And here is actually the best coin farming area in the game. So uh, don't. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> I already messed up. So don't. I was gonna say don't be surprised if you see me coming back here tons of times. But I am doing terribly right now. Uh, and if you go to the left, there's a moon. You can grab it. Uh, but I already died. So now we get to do the entire thing again because I'm a freaking idiot. Eh. God fall down and we have to do it again because I literally screwed everything up. Everything that could have gone wrong. That was that was Mueller's law of work right there. <laughs> Anything that could have gone wrong on that run just went wrong. Let's try that again. Pretend that, pretend that didn't happen. Let's, let's pretend we're back like two, 20 seconds ago. Throw the throw the seed in the pot and, and do a handstand in the clouds. Hooray. Here we go into the clouds. Look at all the fireworks! Oh! Oh, look, it's a sky area. We've never been here before. All right, the whole point is uh, pretty much just dash forward and you'll get everything. Uh, I was, I, I already knocked the control stick out of place when I first began, like a freaking idiot. But if you hold it pretty much straight, you'll grab everything and then you know grab the moon. And I think it stops you. I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, so just position yourself, and launch, and jump, and just grab these last few coins, and the moon, dashing up on the clouds, and then we can go ahead and grab these last few back right here, and there, you can get about 200 coins each time you do this, and then just pop down, and you're fine. And, uh, if, when I get to a point where I have to farm coins, I'm probably just gonna do that a bunch of times. Uh, because it is, in fact, the best coin farming spot in the game. It's the easiest to access, and it definitely gives you a buttload of coins as you just saw. Now we have to make our way back up there. We're just gonna warp because I'm lazy. Let's go. And that leaves us to the boss! So, you see, there's some fire here. We can't do it. We can't really turn it on. Uh, and um, what is happening? I'm I'm so lost. I, I guess the fire is turning on. I'm, I'm being dumb. Uh, all right, there is one more moon. I want to get this episode, and it involves these two holes. Uh, I actually don't know if it's a moon. I'm just guessing. We do need to get a bird, though. Cat Peach, give me money. Birds, I can't think anymore. I'm losing it right at the end. Ah, uh, never mind. There's there's not there's no more moons. Oh wait, yes there is. I could bring the guy up here. Let me do that. I'm losing my marbles, man. I already... Uh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Let me just grab the... I gotta get the bird. Bring him to the top. Uh, hopefully without killing him. Uh, like I was just about to do there. I just gotta bring him to the top. Got it. And if we bring him all the way around here and do the back. We can... Okay, all the fire's lit now. For some reason it wasn't before. I don't know what was going on. But if we stick his nose in here, grab your thing of coins, because why not? And stick it in here, uh, without dying. Boy, if you don't, <laughs> give me that. Come on! Are you kidding me? Thank you. There's a moon. That, that was what I was trying to get. God. Poking your nose by the great gate. That rhymes. Alrighty then. So. That is a pretty good stopping point. So, next time on Super Mario Odyssey, we'll hop in this electric thing and see what's lurking inside of Bowser's great big temple castle thing. See you guys again, Mamma Mia. Oh, God, that was good.